Hey guys, welcome back to Bumble TV. Guys, we're gonna be reacting to Jesus will come back to Blink Freestyle's proof from Matthew 7 21 to 23. Did that. I'm a Jesus. We're gonna be by Amit Jesus. Guys, let's get straight into this. Let's get straight into this. Coming back to the competitive study and comparison between the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Jesus last time. One aspect of comparison you didn't give is I like to ask your opinion on that comparison. And that is when we as a general or majority of Muslims believe that Jesus Christ did not die on the cross. And he is with God, God raised him and he is sitting on the right hand side of the God and he will come back to lead the Muslims to a total victory. My question is that if you are comparing the two prophets and you compare their status according to their responsibility and you give Muhammad peace be upon him a higher responsibility and a higher status then why is it that he died just like you and I and is buried under the ground while Jesus lives and is raised and is lived and he comes back and he has a responsibility to lead the Muslims who have gone astray, who are the followers of Prophet Muhammad and lead them to a total victory which Muhammad could not achieve in his time. Uh, brother, before you go, are you asking as a Muslim or as a Christian? Muslim. It does matter because then I can give you proofs according to your background, your experience and mentality. You see, you are confusing, you have confused the Muslim idea with the Christian idea, where you said, and sitting on the right hand of God. I want to know where you got that from. From the house of Islam or from Christianity? From the elders of Islam. From? From the elders of Islam. I haven't read, but from the elders of Islam. No elder of the Muslim tell you that Jesus is sitting on the right hand of God. Unfortunately, there are some people. Well, that me look. <laughs> all right. You have a very good point that is incorrect. Incorrect. Right, right. Number one, we do not believe that Christ died. We believe that he was not crucified. Videotapes and books are available on the subject crucifixion or crucifixion. Whether it was a fiction, F I C T I U N fiction, F I C. F-I-X-I-U in fiction, means to fix up a person on the cross and kill him, or was it F-I-C-T-I-U in fiction, means a fairy tale. And according to the Quranic teaching, when Allah says, Illa tiba they only follow conjecture, guesswork, fiction. We prove in this book from the Christian Bible, the whole story is a fiction. And if you can get any bishop, if you can organize, an Anglican bishop or an archbishop, to have this thing debated with me, we are prepared to hire the NEC at our expense. And we will give you 10,000 pounds in the bargain. If you can get any Anglican or Roman Catholic bishop or archbishop to debate this subject with us in NEC Birmingham, which is the largest covered hall in Europe, we are prepared to organize that meeting at our expense and give you 10,000 pounds in the bargain. With regards to... With regards to people waiting for Jesus and make, to come and make the masters of the world, you see, the, Christ, the Bible tells us that Jesus is coming for a special purpose. And that purpose is found in the Gospel of St. Matthew. He says that on that day, on that day, the second coming, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? Then Jesus says, Then will I profess unto them, I will tell them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Get away from me, I don't even know you. Now, that is his purpose. People who have misunderstood him, they started worshipping him as Lord, as God, instead of the Father in heaven. So he is coming to rectify them. I am not waiting for Jesus. I don't need anything at all. Whatever Allah wanted to give, He's given it to me here in the Quran. Yeah.
you can't guarantee the Muslims that you know Maghrib you make three rakats, make it four. He can't come to teach us you fasting for thirty days, you fast for forty. There's nothing he can teach us. The Muslim has, as Allah tells us in the Quran, a deen which is absolutely complete. As Allah says, Al Yawma Akmaltu Lakum Dinukum. This day I have perfected for your religion. Wa atmamtu alaykum na'mati and have completed my favors unto you. Wa raditu lakum al-Islam adina and I will that Islam should be your religion. Everything that Allah wanted to give has given it to us and we have it and I am not waiting for Jesus nor do I expect any Muslim to wait for Jesus or for anybody else to help him out in guiding himself to the way of Allah. This sounds strange because I believe you guys are waiting for Jesus. I believe every religion is waiting for Jesus because we know time of the last days this is gonna come back and fight the antichrist but it sounds strange when he said he's not waiting for Jesus. So who is coming back in the last days? Like or I don't know if he meant he's not waiting for Jesus to interpret the Quran or add anything to the Quran. If it's that, yes, that I understand, but him saying he's not waiting for Jesus, if it's in the sense of him coming back. Uh, I don't really understand. Guys, okay, please explain in the comment section. But uh, I don't really think he answered the question. If I'm honest, because he was. I don't know. I don't really think he has to compare anyone together. But I, I, that's why I don't really feel that person. Because to me, I feel every prophet or every messenger that came, came in at the end. I don't really believe in comparison, but guys, please like, subscribe my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Please.